Ladies and gentlemen, now I want to show you one of the most difficult tasks which most of our customers do have some issues or don't know exactly how to do it. Egg whites is very simple, but for some reasons it's not very easy to do because we need a very narrow cylindric jar or receptacle and then we just lift it up very quickly with the BAMIX. So I will show you how to do this. We have here four egg whites prepared already. So we use the A blade which is for aerating. We put the blade on. Most importantly it has to be very dry everything. Go inside. In case you, you feel to have some problems you can put a teaspoon of hot water inside to get a better volume. But remember this is nothing which professional will do but if you want you can do it. Later once you have done your egg whites you just leave it there and then after two or three minutes the water will split away just throw it out and then you have your egg whites. So we'll go with the low speed by aerating. Start down here, angle it and then quickly lift it up. Go up and down very gently but quite fast. Make sure you get the volume because this is going to get stiff very, very fast. You see, it's already growing. You get a lot of volume quite easy. And once you have a certain volume you need, you just go through. And be careful, if you do it too long, it will get very, very stiff. It's like butter, but it's good for your meringue. So I will just do it quite a long time here. So it will get very, very stiff. And you see, this is absolutely fantastic. We have done our meringue here. Give it a rinse. And our BAMIX is ready for the next task. All right. So what we can show you, and I want to show you, is how stiff this egg white is. You will see while I'm cutting this like this. It's like butter, absolutely perfectly cut. Just imagine how amazing this is. You can make your meringues, you can make different things out of it. Now I'll show you one more. So we'll take another egg white. We'll do exactly the same. Just go inside. Again, low speed. Start after two or three seconds. Angle it. Just bring it up quickly. Push it up gently. Don't worry, it won't splash out. But you have to lift it up, otherwise you don't get the volume. Once you have a certain volume here, you can use it for your cake or you just go further and then you do basically your meringue. Just make it a little bit more stiff. You can also go to the high speed a little bit. Now what we do is we put a little bit of sugar inside so we can split this into another jar. Let's do that. I will do one with sugar, one with cacao. All right. All right. Let's put half of it in another acceptable here. Okay. Right. So we'll put here our powder sugar. All right. It's very important, not granulated sugar. All right. And on the other side, we'll put our cacao powder. All right. All right. So we go just in again and then mix it up again to make sure that the sugar will be everywhere. And this is done.
The second one is with cacao powder. Just do the same thing here. And of course, these are two different meringue we can do here. Just give it a rinse. Our bar mix is clean. So just let me show you. We'll go on the other side and we'll show you how we'll do our meringue here. All right. Perfect. Look at this nice meringue here. Absolutely. This will go to the oven and we'll get exactly what we have here on the other side. This type of meringue. Very easily and very nicely.